How are you today? I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through jam mathematics syllabus and hot topics. So if you cover the things you have to read for jam maths, the things that jam will set in mathematics, the things that will come out in jam maths. Now when it comes to jam and subjects generally, the big guys are mathematics and use of English. They are the big boys and even in YEC, it's compulsory to pass maths and English, at least a credit. However, a lot of persons fear mathematics in jump. Why some even fear mathematics more than English and other subjects? Although it's a personal opinion, I feel mathematics is one of the simplest subjects to write in jump. Why? One, the topics are easy and there are restrictions. You are not asked to go into advanced stuff. So general mathematics restricts you to basic stuff and simple cases. For example, in matrix, you are not even doing inverse of 3 by 3 matrix. In differentiation, you are restricted. There are some things you are not doing under differentiation in almost everything. So you are restricted and you are giving you to read. And another thing is, when you see jam mathematics, you feel, ah, these are all the topic in math now. So what's not the difference? No, jam mathematics syllabus doesn't tell you the topics to read in jam. No, it gives you the topics, the hot topics in mathematics, and the things to read under each of the topics. What you should read under uh, matrix. What you should read under indices and log reading. What you should read under uh, statistics. What you should read under probability. So that is basically it. So now let me take you through jam mathematics syllabus, which is in five sections. Uh, algebra and trigonometry, statistics, uh, number and numeration, calculus. Calculus is uh, basically differentiation and integration, applications of differentiations and application of uh, differentiation. So rate of change, maxima and minima. Those are the things you uh, need under calculus. Then algebra, like you already know, uh, variation and other stuff, equations, basic equations, expressions, polynomials, then statistics, mean, medium, mode, range, standard deviation, and all the statistical data, then probability, then geometry and measuration, all that bearing, angles, and others. So now let's look at the sections in JAMA mathematics syllabus and what you're expected to know under each section. <coughs> the, th the first topic in JAMA syllabus is number and numeration. And under number and numeration, you need to know number basis, conversion of number basis from one from, from one base to another. You need to know fraction, decimals, approximations, and percentage, indices, logarithms, and sort. Then sets. So with that, we are done with the first part of jump ones, which is number and numeration. And you know the good news? I've started a video. I have a video series that explains everything. In jump mathematics and other subjects so if you are watching this on youtube simply click on my channel you see all my mathematics videos i explain everything and it's very easy for you to understand very easy then subscribe to the channel in case of new videos with that life is made easy sacrifice is worth it someone that will teach you everything in mathematics and it's free yeah it's free so look at the next uh, section in jam mathematics and that is algebra in algebra you have to cover polynomials but the, poly the degree should not be more than three so the highest power should be three so don't do polynomial of degree four five and six no then simultane solve simultaneous equation involving one linear and one quadratic equation then variation is under algebra direct variation, inverse, partial, and percentage increase and decrease. Now what I normally tell persons, one of the simplest topic in mathematics is variation. It's so easy that it should be a sure banker to you, that any question that comes in variation, you'll be able to answer them. Any question that comes in matrix, you'll be able to answer them. Is it magic? No. Constant practice. Dedication. You wake up every day, you read math for at least an hour to three hours. If you do that every day, within two weeks, math will 
gradually they become part of you to not be easier for you to understand new topics in mass. Within a few months, you are good to go and people begin to say, ah, this person is a scholar or this person is this. Is this things are not magic. It's not. It's not magic. So you can make up your mind to be good and you'll be good. So uh, still under algebra, you need to know inequalities, then AP and GT, uh, GP, arithmetic progression and geometric progression. You need to know their sum and their nth term and sum to infinity of GP. Then binary operation, then matrices and determinant. Compute inverses of 2 by 2 matrices. That means you don't need to do the inverse of 3 by 3 matrices. Then calculate determinant of matrices not exceeding 3 by 3. Addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Then section 3 is geometry and trigonometry. You should know uh, Euclidean geometry, angles and lines, polygons, circles, construction. You should know measuration, length and areas of plane and geometrical figures, length of art and so on. You should know loci, then you should know coordinate geometry. I so much love coordinate, coordinate geometry so much, yeah, I love coordinate geometry. You should know distance, gradients and midpoints, those stops. With the formula, you are even good to go. It's a very interesting topic. Then trigonometry, trig ratios and various angles. Then calculus, differentiation, application of differentiation, integration. Then statistics, frequency distribution, mean, median, mode, cumulative frequency, measure of dispersion, permutation and combination, then probability. So just that you are seeing it on the screen, jam mathematics syllabus. That's how it is. It's not a big deal. So these are the topics. Go through them and solve past questions. Get the Flashiness Jam app with thousands of questions. With that, I think you'll be set. So you don't need to kill yourself to pass maths. You don't need to go extra mile. With basic principles, like I'm showing you, with basic topics, with constant practice, with determinations. What else do you want? You are good to go.